Hello students, today we are going to study lazy learners. It's also called as instance based learners. The classification model discussed so far were decision tree, Bayesian classifier, rule based classification, back propagation algorithm, support vector machine, SVM. All they were an eager learners. And what was the peculiarity of eager learner? The eager learner, when a set of training tuples are given to an eager learner, they will first construct a generalization or classification model before receiving the tuple for testing that we need for classifying. Do you remember that whenever you were given a training tuples, uh, these all algorithms used to create their own classification model. And with this classification model, they used to uh, test the test tuple which was given. In eager learner, the model construction is ready and eager to classify previously unseen tuple. But with the lazy learners, they wait until the last minute before doing any model construction to classify a given test tuples. So when the lazy learner receives a training tuple, it will simply store or will do only little or minor processing and wait until it gives a test tuple. And as it stores the training tuples or instances, so it's called as instance based learners. When a lazy learner sees a test tuple, it performs generalization to classify the tuple based on similarity to store the training tuple. So this point is very important. Uh, that is the lazy learner performs generalization to classify the tuple based on similarity to the stored training tuple. So it is done based on the similarity of the training tuples. So while speaking the lazy learners, we have to also specify some of the peculiarity of the lazy learner. So while making a classification and numeric prediction, they are computationally expensive. The efficient storage technique are required and they are well suited to implement on parallel hardware. They offer little explanation or insight into the data structure. Then they support incremental training. Okay. The most advantage of our lazy learner is that they are able to model complex decision space having hyper polygonal shape that may not be easily describable by any other learning method. This property is available in the complex decision space. Okay. One example is K nearest neighbor classifier. So let us check what is K nearest neighbor classifier. K nearest neighbor classifier. Based on analogy that by comparing a given test tuple with the training tuple that are similar to it. So this works on comparing a given test tuple with the training tuple that are similar to it. The training tuple are described by n attributes, okay? And each tuple represent a point in the n dimensional space. In this way, the training tuples are stored in n dimensional space. So where you are storing the training tuples, the training tuples are stored in a n, n dimensional space. When an unknown tuple is given, a k nearest neighbor searches a pattern space for the k training tuples that are closest to unknown tuples. Okay, So they are searching the similar patterns which are close to our unknown test tuple. These k training tuples are the k nearest neighbor of unknown tuples. Then one more thing we have discussed that is closeness. So the closeness is defined in terms of distance metrics. So the, there are different ways of getting the distance metrics. One is Euclidean distance, which is the root of sigma i is equal to 1 to k xi minus yi the whole square. Second one is Manhattan's distance that is sigma i is equal to 1 to k and you have to take the uh, modulus of xi minus yi. Next one is Minkowski distance that is sigma i is equal to 1 to k uh, that is uh, modulus of xi minus yi raised to q all raised to 1 by q. 
these three methods can be used for finding the distance of the numerical variable. Next. Now, when you are going to the categorical variable, Hamming distance is used. Hamming distance d of h is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to k modulus of xi minus yi. And if x is equal to y, then b is, d is equal to 0. If x is equal to y, then d is equal to 0. If x is not is equal to y, then d is equal to 1. I am giving you an example for this. So, suppose x is male, y is male. Both are same, no? x and y. So, distance will be 0. If x is um, male and y is female, and that is 1. So, these are the categorical data. So, actually, most probably we will be choosing 1 and n, that is 1 nearest neighbor. 1 nearest neighbor will be having comparison of 1 solution. Okay. But historically, the optimal k for the most data set has been between 3 to 10. That produces much better result than 1 n n. So, with that, let us do a problem based on k nearest neighbor and this I am using Euclidean distance. Okay, This is a common uh, way of finding the distance. So, perform k and n classification algorithm on the following data and predict the result of Raj. Uh, for example, uh, he is getting a result of Cn is equal to 3 and Da is equal to 7. Okay, Let us check whether he is pass or fail. So, name I am giving Raghu, Raju, Neema and Neetu. Cn mark for Raghu is 7 and Da mark is 7, the result is pass. Raju, the Cn mark is 7, Da mark is 4 and result is pass. Neema, Cn mark is 3 and Da mark is 4, the result is fail. Neetu, the Cn mark is 1 and Da mark is 4, the result is fail. Now let us compare Raj with Regu, Raju, Neema and Neetu. This is fine. This is done by finding the Euclidean distance between them. So Euclidean distance formula is root of x o1 minus x a1 square plus x o2 minus x a2 square uh, where the x o1 is observed value of the first attribute x a1 is actual value of the first attribute. Similarly, this will be the observed value of the second attribute minus actual value of the second attribute. So, let us solve the problem. d distance of Raj to Regu is equal to root of ob, that is observed value is 3 and minus the actual value. What is the actual value? Actual value is 7 minus 7. So, whole square plus the second, uh, the second attribute that is for the DA. So, the observed value will be 7 and the uh, actual value will be also 7. So, that will be 7 minus 7 the whole square which is equal to 4. Similarly, you will do for Raj and Raju. This will be 5. Similarly, D. For Raj and Neema, that is 3 and D, Raj and Neetu, it is 3.6. Suppose you want to consider only uh, 1 and n. So, we will take the smallest value among them. That is here the smallest value is Neema. So, it will be 3. Okay. And what is the condition of the Neema? Neema is fail. So, he has, Raj has failed in the sub result. So, Raj's result is failed. So, here the k is given as 3. The k is given as 3. So, we will take, we have to compare uh, 3 uh, distances together. So, this will be your n1. Next smallest, this one. This is your n2. And next smallest, this is your n3 output of this n1 the output of this is fail what is the output of n2 what is the output of n2 that is also fail what is the output of the n 
pass. So here we compare three of them. So what is the condition which is given? So to fail is always greater than one true. Okay. To fail is greater than one true. So what is the condition? So the answer is fail so answer is the result is failed okay uh, one more question we'll do uh, this is k and n in classifier using hamming distance in the uh, before we have done eclodian distance now we are going to do using hamming distance a restaurant sells a burger with different flavor say pepper ginger and chili every day of the week you have tried burger that is from A to E and kept a record of which flavor you liked. Okay. Using Hamming distance show how 3NN classifier with majority voting would classify pepper is equal to false, ginger is equal to true and chili is equal to true. So let us check how to do this. Okay. So week A, B, C, D, E is given pepper for uh, pepper, ginger, chili, light, everything is being given in the question. Okay. So, according to the Hamming distance, what the Hamming distance says is that if x is equal to y, then the distance is equal to 0. If x is not as equal to y, then the distance is equal to 1. So, we have given the observed attribute and the actual attribute. So, one is observed attribute, the other one is actual attribute. Now, we are going to compare this. So, distance of the week A with your question is equal to, first one is 1. Why it is 1? Because in the question it is given false and in this uh, column it is given as true. They are different. When they are different, it is written as 1. So it is 1. Next is ginger. It is true. Here also it is true. So true true comes. So same comes. It is 0. Next what is uh, the third one? That is chili. Chili here it is true. Here it is true. So it is 0. So it is equal to 1. Similarly you can do B. You can do C. You can do D. And you can do E also. Okay. Now. Uh, here they are asked you to do 3NN classification of the majority voting. So you have to take 3 nearest values. So here the smallest value we have to take that is 0 and its output was false. That was your C. So output was false. Next uh, the smallest one was um, this one. It is 1 that is true. Next smallest was this and this is false okay so so the majority and class light is false because majority is false so the answer is false fine so we have studied uh, lazy learners next we have studied uh, the example of a lazy learner that is k nearest neighbor classifier we have done two problems based on it one was based on Euclidean distance second was based on Hamming distance so students I hope you might have understood. Thank you.